A portion of this video is sponsored by Huel. So I'm gonna do something I've never done before. I'm gonna take verses to, let's say the next level. I'm gonna put two phones head to head that are still only rumors. Uh, and before you start angry typing in the comments, I've got a reason. Uh, the iPhone 13 and Pixel 6 are quickly becoming some of the most leaked and rumored phones out there. So there's a ton that we already know about what we can expect with almost certainty. And I wanna treat this as an experiment. I wanna see how close to finished this Versus can be without ever having actually seen these phones and see if leaks can really be trusted. Experiment and all that stuff aside, there's kind of another angle here. Uh, the Pixel line and the iPhone lines are, I think, eerily similar phones. Both have kind of had a really heavy focus on the end user experience. There's not usually crammed crazy features in to sell the devices. It's focused on providing the best of that software combined with the best hardware made by both OS manufacturers. And the next generation of the Pixel and the iPhone seems that that's still going to be the case. So all that leaves a question, which will win and which one should you start saving your money for? So I think it's impossible to talk about either of these phones without like starting with what matters to a lot of people the most, uh, camera. So when it comes to features, Apple and Google take the camera very seriously. But with both phones, the camera seems to have hit a little bit of uh, a roadblock. Uh, the Pixel 5 has relied heavily on software to get those photos looking great. The hardware hasn't changed in years and they do end up looking great. And I've talked about this before plenty of times, but the Pixel camera software was years ahead of the competition when it was first introduced. But the strategy of just throwing more and more software at the problem, I think is at the end of the road and the hardware is starting to show its age. On the other hand, Apple has actually been really great uh, making some huge strides with the camera hardware on the iPhone, especially when looking at the iPhone 12 Pro Max. It's got a large sensor with sensor shift stabilization. It's got LiDAR for really awesome low light. It's got three cameras for different focal lengths. When it comes to software, year over year, the changes are crazy minor. So if you look at a photo from the iPhone 11 and compare it to the beastly iPhone 12 Pro Max, honestly, I think you'd be hard pressed to find those major differences. All right, so what are these companies planning to address these problems moving forward? So most excitedly, I think to me, Google finally seems to have gotten the message and is going to come out swinging with the Pixel 6 Pro, their top of the line sort of rumored phone. Finally, we should see three cameras instead of the two that we currently have. So the main sensor is rumored to be a 50 megapixel sensor plus ultra wide angle lens and also a five times optical periscope camera. So finally on a Pixel, we will have ultra wide and telephoto. So, and these are all features we've seen on other phones, but seeing it here on a Pixel with Pixel software, I mean, you know it's going to be amazing. And it's kind of what I think a lot of people have been asking Google to do for the longest time. And it appears that it's finally happening. Something that we can't see from the hardware renders is that software though. It'll certainly be powered by Android 12, but I expect this also to be the year Google takes video seriously uh, as well. At least bring it on par with what Samsung and even OnePlus have to offer. So I'm pretty pumped for a Pixel camera through and through uh, with the Pixel 6 Pro. Apple seems to be doing things like Apple does, uh, more of the same. I have very little doubt the camera is still going to be great. The iPhone cameras usually are. Doesn't seem to be giving the iPhone 13 Pro Max though, any sort of major revamp. Uh, the main improvement that I'm expecting to see with the Max phone is upgrade to the ultra wide camera with a new six element lens and F1.8 aperture. And that's gonna make a pretty huge difference, especially because the current ultra wide, uh, I think is lacking. Other than that though, there's expected to be new astrophotography mode, uh, improved portrait mode that actually utilizes the LiDAR scanner. And uh, that's about it. Uh, Apple could obviously surprise us with something completely different, maybe, but um, I'm not going blue in the face, holding my breath for it. So to say the past year was rough, I think is an understatement. Um, it was rough for everybody. I had a rough time personally with my waistline and I've been trying to sort of catch up to get healthier and live a healthier life. 
And with three kids and, and a job, it's been hard to sort of eat as healthy as I would want to and try to keep myself not looking like a, generally an oval. Uh, so that led me actually to this guy behind me. This is Huel. So in addition to trying to eat healthier, I'm making a concerted effort to eat more plant-based products. And Huel is completely plant-based and vegan. It's easy to do, it's easy to make, and one bag seems to last forever. And it's not for an every meal thing, but when I'm rushed here at the studio, or rushed out in the morning, at least I know I'm eating something that's healthy, giving my body the minerals that it needs. And the black edition here is actually their lowest carb option. So it's really helpful for sort of keeping my body like moving, but also not eating more than my body needs. Generally, I'm just trying to like lose a little bit of fat and Huel has just been another tool in making that process a bit easier for me. So if it sounds like something that you want to try, we'll put a link down below. When you order, Huel's gonna throw in a bunch of extra goodies uh, as well, like a t-shirt and a shaker uh, and some other stuff for you. So at least in my mind, when it comes to the Pixel 6 Pro versus the iPhone 13 Pro Max, when it comes to hype specs on what I think these cameras are going to do, I am way more hyped out for what the Pixel is going to do than what Apple's gonna offer. So every year we've gotten a new design with the Pixel and it's usually more of the same. Every design we have, again, is different. It certainly is very clear that it comes from the same family of phones. There's a pretty cohesive design language there. This year though, um, Google seems to have thrown that completely out the window and I am totally here for it. I know it's polarizing, but the Pixel 6 Pro is rumored to be getting a crazy radical design makeover. For some reason, it reminds me of the Project Aura phones that were sort of rumored for a while and never came out. The camera with that big rectangular design almost looks modular to me, even though it's not. I love the bright, bold color options. This phone is going to look unique. And we're talking about rectangles, like pretty much every phone is. That's a hard thing to pull off. And from a company that's really played it safe and done a utilitarian design, Pixels in the past, I think it's awesome. I don't know if it's a, a Hail Mary approach from Google, um, but I love that they are thinking outside of the Pixel box. And I really like the way this looks. I wasn't necessarily in desperate need of a redesigned Pixel, but now that it seems it's actually coming, I'm super pumped for it. The iPhone design language is, I think, even more cohesive than the Pixels. You can look at an iPhone from any angle, pretty much any generation, you'll know with 100% certainty that that's an iPhone and it's not changing this year. Uh, we got a pretty big redesign with this year's iPhone 12 Pro, and that's gonna stick around for presumably another few years. Uh, we will have, the notch is still also going to stick around, although it will be shrinking this year. Same features though. The square edges will still be there and the camera will look almost the same, although it's rumored the iPhone will be 0.2 millimeters thicker and the camera modules will be chunkier as well. So hopefully that means the camera will be better, but I think more than likely it's just gonna lead to just bigger and better battery life. I'm a big proponent of the best screens possible. It's your portal to everything that phones can do. And when it comes to screens for next generation, it seems like both phones are going to be pretty similar. Uh, using OLED panels with high refresh rates, finally, for the iPhone. The Pixel's credit had it for years. I don't know what Apple's going to, to do with their phone. I think their color science is pretty good on their screens, but actually getting a higher refresh rate and rumors are pointing to 120 Hertz is absolutely awesome. And for the Pixel Pro, I expect that to jump from 90 to 120 as well. These screens should look very, very similar. And they should both look absolutely amazing. I've been sort of on this high refresh hill. I feel like I'm talking about it in every single video. I'm excited for iPhone purists who've never ventured over to Android to see it, to use it. And I think realize how awesome it makes things ultimately look. So those are the main differences with these two phones, but there's also a lot of like other smaller things. Both are expected to have in-screen fingerprint readers. So Touch ID making a comeback and then debuting for the first time on the Pixel line. The Pixel's always had a rear facing reader uh, and the iPhone ditch it for face ID, but going under screen, I think is great and makes a ton of sense for, for both manufacturers. Uh, both phones will have the usual slew of stuff you'd expect, wireless charging. I expect really good battery life. USB-C versus Lightning's a debate that kind of rages, although I don't know who's on the Lightning side. Uh, USB, all the things. Those sort of be things that you can expect uh, for these phones. So all those intangibles aside, there are still two major features that I am so excited for. Custom silicon and software. So Apple has been making their own silicon for years and it's been the top of the class. I don't need to belabor that point. We know how good their A and M series chips are. 
Google, though, is rumored to be working on their own custom silicon as well. And this year seems like the perfect year to unveil it with the Pixel 6. So it's codenamed Whitechapel. And although we don't know too much about it, there's a bunch I think that we can infer. So I'd expect crazy awesome performance and you'd expect crazy awesome optimization as well. I think Android's got an unfair reputation for sometimes slowing down and can kind of stuttery uh, experience. And that hasn't been the case for years, but with Google now taking control of software and processor, uh, I think we're going to see the smoothest version, smoothest Android experience that we've ever had. So, and that leads perfectly to software. Google just announced Android 12 at IO, and it is a major design overhaul and refresh. It's gonna be called Material U. It's gonna take cues from your wallpapers and adjust colors. Things are different. Notifications are different. Quick settings are different. It's entirely new language. Um, widgets have been completely redesigned on how they look and feel, and it needed it. Um, and I'm here for it. So you've got rumors of fresh silicon, brand new fresh looking software, deserves brand new fresh looking hardware. On the iPhone side, it's iOS, it's still iOS. I'm not expecting anything revolutionary or crazy different from iOS 15. Apple's predictably going to fix bugs and add a few new features to an OS that was already pretty solid. Now, I would love a design overhaul, but I don't think we are going to get that for many, many years. So expect a slightly better version of iOS 14. So even though we are months out from these phones being released, there's still a lot that I think we know. And granted, there's probably a ton that like, we don't know too, but from what we can basically confirm, there's a lot of reasons to be excited about the Pixel this year and the iPhone coming out. The iPhone's going to be a better version of what we have, maybe a different color, but the phone's going to look very similar. You'll see a difference in screen and probably slightly in cameras. But on the Pixel side, this is going to look and I think feel like a brand new Pixel experience. You've got new camera hardware and Google's amazing software to make the most out of that camera hardware. You've got a brand new design. You've got Google Silicon on board. This is going to be Android squared, Android times two, Android supercharged, and I am really here for it. Uh, this is going to be the version of the Pixel that I think Google's wanted to make for years. The Their version of a perfect phone, no longer hampered or held back by others making processor and others making really key components. Google's taken it all, at least appears to be in house. And I am pumped to see what that ultimately ends up looking like. And it's too early to say one phone's going to be better than the other, but I can definitely tell you, I am way more excited about the Pixel this year than I am about the iPhone.